Hello everyone and welcome to our tips and tricks video series. My name is Scott Wolf and I'm a consultant with eCapital Advisors, a partner of Workday Adaptive Planning. The topic for our tips and tricks video series today is connecting your Office Connect uh, Excel to your PowerPoint and Word board packages. Functionality that this provides is it's gonna allow for you to um, connect your graphs and tables from an Excel file into a PowerPoint and Word and refresh those all within one click. The use case for this is it's going to save a lot of time um, come month end or when your board decks are due, uh, allowing for you to simply move a date forward um, and refresh an Excel document and then simply clicking refresh in your PowerPoint Word document will give you your most up-to-date tables and graphs. Let's go ahead and jump into the demo portion of our video. I'm going to start out here in Excel. So as you can see, this is our board deck. Um, and within the tabs here at the bottom, I have uh, a bunch of different reports with tables and graphs that get updated on a monthly basis, uh, simply by uh, moving a date forward in uh, Excel and then uh, clicking refresh here will bring in the most up-to-date data. You can see everything right now is set to March uh, 2021 as that's our report date here. Uh, I will show you how that works when we move it forward and refresh. Um, but first let's take a look at the PowerPoint um, document we have here. So again, this is our PowerPoint deck. Um, and you can see we have a bunch of different charts and tables uh, from our Excel file linked in here. Again, you can see I'm logged into Office Connect and we'll use this refresh all to refresh these reports when we move that date forward to April. Uh, same thing here for Word as I scroll through here. Uh, we have our monthly board book uh, as of March and those same tables and charts are linked in here. First thing I'll demo is how to um, copy a table over to PowerPoint. So uh, the first step in doing so is to highlight the region in Excel and name it. So as you can see, I've highlighted a region here. I named it PL up here in the top left. Um, and once you've named that region, you'll go ahead, highlight it and click copy. I'll then flip over to my PowerPoint here. Um, and from there, I'm gonna scroll up to the top here and I'm going to add a fresh slide. I'll delete out the text box at the bottom here. And I'm going to click back on the Office Connect tab and from there, I'm going to choose the paste table option as we're um, grabbing a table from our Excel file. You can see that same table then um, is now dropped in our PowerPoint file. Um, and you can see the date here is March. I'm gonna do one more example here with a graph from Excel. So I'll add one more slide and I'll delete out this text box. Um, and I'll hop back over to our Excel file. This time we wanna use a chart. So I'll go to our charts tab and same thing here. You wanna name your chart. It's named up here in the top left. I'll right click and copy this chart, hop back over to PowerPoint. And this time, instead of choosing the paste table, I'll choose paste chart. It's gonna paste that chart uh, from our Excel file into our PowerPoint. Now you can see everything is still set up on March um, throughout this uh, PowerPoint file. Uh, I'll jump back over to our Excel here. Um, and let's say we wanna roll the date forward for April and get our April um, data. I simply click on Office Connect tab, workbook properties, and I'm gonna choose uh, April 30th now as our date. Click okay, and I'm gonna refresh all of my sheets. As I click through the tabs now, you'll see that every one of these tables and charts is gonna be updated with our April data in one simple, simple click. So you saw everything up here turn to April. As I scroll through here, you'll see April data is now flowing through. 
see our charts change. We hop back over to PowerPoint um, and everything's still on March. I'll click this refresh all and you see this flips over to April. So now everything is updated with our April data in one simple click. Word has the same ability here. So I'll hop over to a Word document. I'm not gonna demo this one for the sake of time, but uh, same thing applies here. Copy your named region. Uh, your link will show up here and then a simple refresh is going to push everything uh, to the next month that you updated your Excel file to. Thank you for attending our tips and tricks video series today. For more content like this, please check out the eCapital Advisors website or our LinkedIn page.